People like you and me, we rather love precipices. We go towards them and withdraw now and again, and sometimes we go over the edge. There was a second or two, I think, perhaps uh, a year ago, when I didn't much fancy staying alive. I didn't contemplate suicide, no. No, I wouldn't kill myself, not in the, in the ordinary sense of the word. I wouldn't take pills or drugs or anything, really, in that sense. But I did suddenly wake up one morning and found how splendidly rich and extraordinary the world was and that I, I couldn't bear its richness and its beauty. And in order to obviate the idea of the, the richness and the extraordinary beauty of the world, I thought it best that I should leave it. You can kill yourself any second, of course, not by any obvious means, but you can, of course, drink yourself to death. It's rather pleasant. I had a go. The doctor in California said if I kept on as I was going, then I only had two weeks to live. Now, this was fascinating because when you examine the idea of two weeks, every second, every minute, every hour, every day, I was absolutely fascinated. I wasn't frightened at all. So I thought, here we go again, boys. We're on the edge of a terrible precipice. A fascinating idea, of course, the idea of drink on that scale. I've been there. I've seen that dark wood. I know how terrible it is, how frightful, how frightening it is. But I went there and I came back. There's always a future in some shape or form, but sometimes the view, the road ahead, is obscured from us. We can't see our way. We get lost. Thank you.